Winatu, Nuole Elipaiku. Welcome to another edition of Nanticoke Language Lessons. Today's lesson is on Wahakai, the body. This will also serve as an introduction for inanimate nouns, because although body parts are part of a living being, grammatically they're treated as if they're inanimate. Furthermore, they exhibit an alienable possession, which means that they're always accompanied by a pronoun prefix. So we have n, first person, my, k, second person, your, w, third person, their. And also there are some sound changes, which we'll see in the example. Sometimes the n becomes n, etc. And we'll just stick with the singular forms today and introduce the plural forms in a subsequent lesson. And if you happen to have a body part you just want to speak about in general that's not associated with a particular person, you have the prefix m. So first I'll introduce all the names of the body parts using the first person. We begin with Nahuk, my body. Nahuk. Well, actually this is Adam Beach's body, which a uh, picture of which I borrowed from nativelanguages.org, the website below. I encourage you all to check it out. We have Tatakak, my back. Tatakak. Nut, my belly. Nut. Nuskush, my finger. Nuskush. And I have this marked here with an asterisk. This is actually a loan word from Munsey that I've reshaped. Uh, there is an Anticoke word for finger, but the orthography is so poor it's really just too hard to decipher. Nist, my foot. Nist. Nakwasitquinum, my toe. Nakwasitquinum. And I put some asterisks here. I'm not entirely certain about this one, but this is the best I can do using some roots from other languages. Nilahaman, my head. Nilahaman. Nichpit, my arm. Nichpit. Nalunt, my hand. Nalunt. And we have an alternate form, Y dialect. Nint. Nint. Nichkat, my leg. Nichkat. Then we have Nishkink, my face. Nishkink. And this is a loan word that I've taken from Unami. The Nanticoke word looks close enough to it, but uh, I'm not confident enough about its reconstruction to use it here, so I've decided just to use the Unami form. We have my hair. Nisk, or alternately, Nisquat. Then we have my face again. Nishkink. Then we have Nihkyu, my nose, Nihkyu. And we have Ntampkwat, my chin, Ntampkwat. Nuskintsuk, my eye, Nuskintsuk. Nachtawak, my ear, Nachtawak. Nton, my mouth, Nton. Alternately, you may also see it, have it pronounced Nton with a more of a U sound. So here I'm going to go through some examples of how to apply the pronoun prefixes, some of the examples we've already had, as well as some new ones. So we have Nichbit, my arm. Nichbit. Kichbit, your arm. Kichbit. Wichbit, her arm or his arm. Wichbit. Michbit, somebody's arm. Nahuk, my, my body. Nahuk. Kahuk, your body. Kahak, Wahakai, his or her body, Wahakai. Mahak, somebody's body, Mahak. Nut, my belly, Nut. Cut, your belly, Cut. What, his or her belly, What, Mut, somebody's belly. Nachtawak, my ear, Nachtawak. Kahtawak, your ear, Kahtawak. Wachtawak, his or her ear. Wachtawak. Machtawak, someone's ear. Machtawak. Nesikipaku, my neck. Nesikipaku. Kasikipaku, your neck. Kasikipaku. Wasikipaku, his or her neck. Wasikipaku. Mesikipaku, someone's neck. Mesikipaku. Nesho, my heart. Nesho. Kesho, your heart, Kesho. Wisho, his or her heart, Wisho. Misho, someone's heart, Misho. 
ni squat my hair ni squat ki squat your hair ki squat we squat his or her hair we squat me squat someone's hair me squat nipatum or nipped my tooth nipatum nipped kipatum or keeped your tooth kipitum keeped weepatum weeped his or her tooth weepatum weeped meepatum or meeped someone's tooth meepatum meeped for pluralization for inanimate plurals you can add an s most often after vowels or you can add us as an ending so we have nuhtawak my ear and then the plural nuhtawaks my ears or you could say nuhtawakas we have nipatum my tooth nipatums my teeth or you could say nipts if you want to use the shorter form nalants my hand and then we have nalantsas my hands and then we have some forms here the ones that i've listed thus far where i'm aware of this phenomenon some of these are shorter forms in the singular and then they have an ending which is restored when you use the plural form so in singular you have nichpit is my arm but then my arms nichpitins or nichpitinas michkiu that's someone's nose the, then in the plural you'll use the four form the full form michkiwans some people's noses so I have a pop quiz. Feel free to rewind and look at the word list if you like. I'll make the first one easy for you. I have the root word for you right here. So if you remember from the lesson, how would you say my ear? So the answer is nuhtawak, my ear, nuhtawak. You would add that first person marker, na. Now, without giving the root word, how would you say your eye? And the answer is kuskintsuk, your eye, kuskintsuk. It's the, first, the second person marker, k. How would you say his or her nose? The answer, wihkyu, his or her nose, wihkyu. How would you say your arm? Answer is kichpit, or you could add a W at the end, kichpit, your arm. And how about your arms? Uh, we'll ignore for a moment that this is just a drawing of the same arm in different positions. I don't have an art budget. We have kichpitins, or kichpitinas, your arms. We have a shark's tooth here. That's a watamek shark. How would you say his or her tooth? We have weeped or weep at them. And we have a guy here holding a set of teeth. So how would you do that in the plural then? Say his or her teeth. Hmm? You would say weeped us or weeped, or you could say weepatums or weepatamas for his or her teeth. Willian for watching. Lapichkana welcome all.